Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Trendonomics by First. So finally we are breaking above 16,000. What a day it was, a good momentum day. So this is about Nifty, Bank, P and Dow going at. I'm going to discuss. This is going to be an interesting video, watch till there. If you wish to open an account with Upstock, one of the reading list bond brokers, I'm giving you a link in description. You can open an account with that link. If you are new to this channel, if you still haven't subscribed, subscribe to this free YouTube channel, subscribe, share, like, comment, Follow me on Twitter. This is my Twitter handle at the Trendonomics HD, where I share live market updates. If you wish to learn Elliott Waves, we have a recorded masterclass for a price of 2500, where I've discussed all the patterns, how to trade in stocks, indices, futures, commodities, cryptocurrencies, spotting highest probability, trading opportunities, identifying major turning points, and adding big waves. Using traditional tools like moving averages, RSI, Fibonacci trend line, trend channels, common mistake people do and how to avoid them. I'm giving this free ebook by Prost and Factor. Complete ebook on Elliott Waves by Prost and Factor, along with a lot of other resources, including webinar on risk management, because risk management is most important. So you can register from our blog, Trendonomics, or from Elon Markets platform, one of the leading online learning platform, or even from Udemy or link on my Twitter profile. And even if you don't register, I'm still giving you this free ebook. Grab the ebook from link in description. Let's discuss the market now. So finally, we are about this two months range. And as we said that if we break out, definitely we are going to go long and enjoy the uptrend. So now hopefully we are going to get a good momentum on upside. And maybe we will uh, reach towards 16,300 or uh, even a little higher. So in terms of wave cons, so uh, we are still in fifth wave. As we discussed that, if we break higher, then definitely it's still a uh, fifth wave running and we should be going higher. So yesterday we discussed that uh, if we break above this range, then definitely we can take this as one and two and probably again another one and two. And the third wave are uh, going higher, three of three going higher a uh, breakout above this zone and literally we did a breakout today and a uh, strong momentum a strong trending update so uh, fr from here any uh, pullback or any correction uh, likely to find support near 16030 zone uh, i don't think we might go any beyond uh, it uh, in a correction as of now because it's uh, still looks a strong momentum move and uh, in terms of wave count we are in we are in fifth of fifth and within that we are still in third wave and which is unfolding uh, which is still unfolding so maybe we have done one two three uh, fourth wave correction and again a fifth wave higher but that does not end uh, uh, rally uh, so a correction maybe from here a correction to 16050 or maybe 16040 if any and then again a move higher to 16200 plus uh, before uh, another pullback and in fifth of fifth uh, that's the final way we might go towards 16000 uh, uh, 16000 yeah 16400 odd 16,350 to 16,400. So from here, 16,040 uh, likely to give support uh, and any correction, uh, we should uh, get an opportunity to buy uh, unless we break below 16,000 or and on higher side, we can go towards 16,230 uh, and um, higher to 16,350 zone. Uh, in next couple of days, we are still in fifth wave, and yes, it can stretch because we have a breakout of two months range. So definitely, it's going to give us a strong trending up move. Uh, in Bank Nifty, yes, definitely, Bank Nifty is lagging yet. Uh, it has broken above this trend channel, so uh, we will uh, need to again think about uh, whether. Uh, this is an uh, whether the ending diagonal is complete or we are still 
in the fifth wave. So maybe we are still in fifth wave and we might go uh, higher to uh, say 36,000 or in uh, the ending diagonal of uh, wave phi, that's wave E within the diagonal, we might just go there to 36,000 or before we top out. So maybe some move up move in bank, but uh, we are not expecting a very uh, huge rally in banking. Uh, banks still might lag, though some rally may come in banking stock for short term. But uh, I think it may not be a very huge rally. So that's it about Nifty Bank Nifty. Uh, keep watch on the levels. So we broke this uh, range and we should be going higher to 36,000. Uh, that's our view. And uh, again, Nifty 16,300 to 16,400 is the likely target over next couple of days. Uh, on downside, 16,040 is going to, uh, we might get support on that level in case of any pullback. So let's see where do we move. So high, uh, keep watch on the trend channel higher over here, and uh, there there is no resistance before this trend channel. So definitely don't uh, try to short uh, because we have uh, we are breaking out of the two months range, and uh, we are likely to go uh, get some move. So that's it from today's update. If you like the video, definitely you can share. Uh, well, definitely, uh, though yesterday we were uh, not very sure of a breakout, we were uh, we were saying that we might just again start going down, but we discussed this, that if we break out, we are going to go long and we are going to get some good strong trending move. So that's the best part because we uh, already knew the alternates we already knew that if we break above this range, then we will get a strong trending move and we can go long and make uh, good money. Even if we uh, go long here at 15,900 plus. And uh, even if you uh, go long in a pullback to 16,040, uh, the odds of you making money uh, is a uh, uh, high because we have broken out of the range. So always wait for a breakout on either side. So now uh, let's see how much trending move we are going to get. I know this is going to be some crazy move because we are uh, breaking out of two months range. So definitely going to last for at least at least four to five days. Definitely it will last. It might give a very fast move. And definitely we are going to watch the uh, broad market because today broad market was lagging, broad market was weak. So we are going to keep watch on that because usually in fifth wave, uh, broad market starts lagging and it does not make new highs. That's the sign of uh, end, but we are not looking for end yet. Uh, we will enjoy the rally and keep watching. So definitely you can uh trade some momentum stocks and enjoy the uptrend until it lasts and keep watching keep sharing this is how signing off until we meet again